Your Honor, my name is Joanne Kroll. And how do you spell that? Yeah, um, last, the whole name of it. Yes, please. Um, J O capital A N N, and it's K R O L L. Thank you. What is it you'd like to say? Well, I'd just like to say, you know, you feel like smiling at everybody today, like you did on the camera. You know, my husband worked very hard. The man sitting right back there for all of our money and the things that you've got to do go on vacations and what have you that should be us going but you took our money and uh, there's not one thing i can say except what you did you deserve whatever you get here today thank you thank you, you state your name and spell your name for the record please ma'am Carol Canelli, K E N N E L L Y, C A R O L E. Thank you. What would you like to say? Well, I probably am one of those small investors that is one of the senior citizens that was extremely naive on investing and completely had. I had family members that were working with Joel that made me trust him, but I did state to him several times I understand this at all don't understand any of it I'm going to have to put my faith in that you're going to direct me in a very safe way because I raised my five children basically on my own and this was a little bit of money that I was going to end up having as a nest egg at my age and now it's down to zero and I have gone through lots of mental problems my kids keep saying I need medicine but I refuse to get it I pace I don't sleep and um, I have high blood pressure now. I am on blood pressure medicine, and I have had perfect health before. I guess that's it. And I, I do think that Joel deserves whatever he gets. Thank you. And this is Tony Butterfield, T-O-N-I-T-T-E-R-F-I-E-L-D. And I, too, um, I'm the sister, older sister of Joel Wilson. I am an investor, probably one of small investor, but yet be the investor nonetheless. Understood the risk of the investment. I believed in what Joel said as the investment. We were going to be investing in properties. I participated in the company. I volunteered my time along with some of those who are now bringing charges against Joel because we all believed in what was to come. That if we worked hard, which Joel encouraged us to do, we would see an investment. As of now, it's been stripped away. The company was fully functioning and running. It was stripped away from those of us that volunteered, that gave our time, that worked there. It's into a receivership. The company is, is no longer, and that's not due to Joel's fault. We worked there. We volunteered there. Employees were being paid. Houses were being renovated. The community was being improved as a whole. And then all of a sudden, it was gone. I asked the leniency today for Joel. There was no intent. Joel had every reason in the world for the company to succeed. He had his family, his mom, his sisters, his brothers, friends invested. He wanted it to succeed. It needed to succeed. There was no intent to defraud or to steal from anyone. Again, I say employees were being paid, houses were being bought, landscaping was being done, carpet was being laid. All of this, there's no monies, as someone just stated. It was all for the investment. Everyone who came in understood that there would be a loss or could be a loss. But there wasn't. And not in my opinion, there wasn't. Because we had the houses. We laid the carpet. We did the landscaping. We did the roofing. We did the plumbing. We paid employees. 